What's up guys? So I'm in my Uber right now in California. We got a, I don't know, that car's in the way, but we got a beautiful view. And I'm with my Uber driver, Maurizio. What's up, He's guys? from Brazil. Yeah. And uh, so I just did a, a live for my inner circle in my Facebook group for my inner circle. And he heard me talking about fat loss and going from a fat loss phase to a maintenance phase and the struggles. And then he, uh, he was like, yeah, I'm still in the fat loss phase. I've been in it for, for years. And so before we dug deep into the conversation, I was like, would you mind if I recorded this conversation to go on my YouTube, answer any questions you have? So Mauricio, yeah. um, Mauricio, That's me. <laughs> could you just uh, talk to us? You don't, you don't even need to look in the camera. Just okay, like, yeah, I don't want to crash, right? Yeah. <laughs> Explain what is your biggest struggle? Like, what are you doing? What are you struggling with? Yeah. And, and like you said, you're in the fat loss phase for a long time. Talk to me about what you're struggling with. Yeah, my struggle is I cut carbos, you know, I've cut um, pasta, I've cut, I've cut all that because I'm pre-diabetic, so um, I have to cut all that. Besides that, I want to be fit, so I want to look good. Um, so I've been trying to cut fat, so I cut fat, I lose the weight, and then I get it all back again. Like, I'm unsatisfied with my weight, and then when I see it, I'm eating again, I'm eating a lot. Even if I don't eat a lot, if, if, if I just regularly eat what I'm used to, I just put it all back. So. I'm wondering what do I have to do to um, just change my lifestyle, but I have. I eat a lot of salad, I eat a lot of you know grilled fish and grilled meat, and I try to keep my carbs down, but still I'm stuck in those last like 10 pounds that I need to lose. Got it, okay. Yep, that's so, amazing. So this is very common. This is like probably the, the most common question that we get in regard to don't eat too many carbs, overall eating really well, but struggling to lose like the last 10 pounds. Really, and I actually have a YouTube video on the last 10 pounds. So, my question to you, Maurizio, is let me ask you this. Um, there was a lot that you said that I want to cover, but the first question that I want to ask is let's, on, let's rank on a scale of one to 10, okay? One being like absolutely awful, terrible, like never, like really, really bad, 10 being literally 100% perfect couldn't possibly be any better like absolutely amazing how well do you eat throughout the week including the weekends like i would rank yourself on a scale of one to ten uh, i would say six seven seven maybe yeah so six better and than half. average yeah six and a half probably yeah okay so perfect so six and a half out of ten which is it's good the way that i like to frame this now is generally people know an 80-20 rule, like 80-20, you gotta hit an 80-20 to really like get the results you want while still being moderate and flexible. So I bet that if we could bring you from a six and a half to an eight, or from a seven to an eight, you would start to see better results, not necessarily like get shredded in 12 weeks, but to lose the last 10 pounds sustainably mm -hmm. and to do it without going crazy. To br Now let me ask you this, you said you're about a six and a half. Where is that struggle? Where, like, why did you say six and a half and you didn't say, for example, an eight or a nine? Where do you struggle the most? Uh, I would say the um, the bread. <laughs> okay. And the, the, the pizza sometimes. And I, I, I should kind of like, I try to eliminate as much as I can, but like once a week I would be like eating a, a greasy pizza or, or some burger or something. But like the, from Monday to Friday, I, I can control myself and eat like salads and, and grilled fish and, 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 and everything. But then I think I, I lose it all during either the weekend or like once a week, you know, I, I, don't, know, I, should, I don't know what to do. Yeah, got <laughs> it. So, so it's, and this is wicked common by the way, like talk about this all the time. And I actually film conversations like this regularly because most people struggle with this. So everything you're saying, it's, I've heard it a million times. So basically right now, Here's the thing. Here's actually something really interesting. At the beginning, you said you're cutting a lot of the pasta because you're pre-diabetic, you're cutting a lot of the carbs, and now you also say that the bread might be getting to you, the pizza might be getting to you. Here's actually something really interesting from a psychology perspective. A lot of times when we look at a certain food as bad or fattening or that that food group is going to be uh, a reason for us not to succeed, then and, and we try to eliminate it, a lot of times we'll think that we're actually eliminating it and then binging on it at other points. So you might 
believe that throughout the week you're not eating it at all. But then because you crave it so much, then you go nuts on the weekends, is nodding his head, he's like, yeah, yeah that makes and, sense. And then you go nuts on the weekends and you feel because you're putting so much effort in during the week that you're like, why am I not getting anywhere? Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're going crazy. But then what happens is on the weekend, you're like, ah, fuck it, and you go loose. Right. And it's like, that's it, right? Have a beer and lose it. Exactly, and then it's like, oh, fuck it. Like, I'm just gonna have the entire pizza. So, so let me, here's the thing. What I like to say is, Number one, there is no such thing as a single food that's going to make you fat. Carbs do not inherently make you fat. What makes you fat is eating too many calories, period. Too many calories in general. That's gonna, so what if instead of saying, I'm not gonna eat carbs or I'm not gonna have them, what if instead of doing that because then you binge on the weekend, what if you just say, all right, I'm allowed to have them, but like I will, I'll either limit my amount, like I'll keep it to, one slice of pizza, or I would rather have two slices of pizza two nights a week than say a whole pizza one night a week. Does yeah, that make sense? It doesn't fit my personality too much, but I'll try. <laughs> so you're an all or nothing person? I am basically in every aspect of my life. So I would really have to re-educate me to be like more balanced at least when I'm eating. You know? <laughs> okay, well so how about this? Instead of that then, because I'm glad you said that because that doesn't work for everybody. So instead of necessarily being like, because if you know that's not realistic for you, then let's not do yeah, it. It could be, I just have to like control myself more when I'm gonna eat then. Because Got it. I'm very expensive and <laughs> I talk with my hands. And <laughs> let's make a video and I go and I make it. <laughs> so, I'm, so if you say, let's eat a piece, I go and eat the whole thing and blah, blah, blah. So I might as well try to, you know, it's changed my personality because it's something that I really want, you know. I love that. I, I think that's amazing and like that's the truth. If you want to do something, you're going to have to yeah. like make a change. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Have you ever counted calories before? That's the big problem. That is the biggest problem for me. I Tell me about that. Yeah, I have, you know, I know which things are very caloric. Yep. But I, will, I won't know the total if I'm like exploding in my calories or not. So Got it. I have, you know, I don't know how, how many calories a burger has, so... When I have a burger, I say, okay, I had a burger, now I gotta eat salad, but then I don't really know. You, you don't know. actually know. Yeah. So do you do you know how you could find that out? Uh, no. <laughs> well, all right, this is amazing, well, it, this is good. It's like in the labels, right? But not, it doesn't come, well, it does sometimes. Well, so for example, the and I have I have a video on this too, The the one of the best things that you can do is, number one, if you Google it, you'll find it. So you could literally Google anything. It's like, how many calories in a slice of Joe's Pizza? Joe's Pizza is the best pizza in New York City, by the way, and they're not paying me to say that. They're fucking amazing. Um, so that's number one. Number two is you could say, um, like, how many calories, if you want, I don't know, how many calories in um, in a large banana, or how many calories in yeah, a no in idea. a chicken Caesar salad? Now, it's gonna be estimates. You're not gonna know exactly, but, at least you have an educated guess. And then from there you could say, listen, I didn't realize a slice of pizza was 250 calories. So like that means I'm gonna eat a little bit less. And that's the key, right? This is right here the key. Let's say you know it's Saturday and you know every Saturday you eat a whole fucking pizza, then maybe you could say, listen, I know the whole pizza is gonna be a thousand calories, we'll say. So and if you know your daily allotment is 2,500 or 2,000, then you could say, all right, listen, so I'm going to mainly stick to lean lean meats and vegetables and fruits leading up to dinner so that I have that that leeway with my calories so that it won't go over at the end of the day. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Does that sound more like something you could do from the perspective of it still yeah. allows you to be all or nothing, but you yeah. don't go over your calories? Yeah, but the... The starting point is knowing how many of my, my body is supposed to, to take daily. I don't even know that. Got it. So another fantastic question. He doesn't know how many calories he should be eating for his body. I'm gonna give you a really simple guideline. I want you to take your, you, there are two different formulas. I've been recently using uh, the goal body weight, but what I did before and it works very well is take your current body weight and multiply it by 12. So, for example, if you weigh 150 pounds, you right. multiply it by 12. <laughs> so then that you're gonna have that would be by or multiply it by 10, we'll say. Cool. So 10 would be a little bit less. But so you take your current body weight, multiply it by 10. That's that's so so oh wait so 2,000 like right? Yeah, like so cool. So he's about 200 pounds. 200 pounds. So you multiply it by 10. That's 2,000. 
So if you eat, because if, if it was someone who's really, really already very lean, that would be very few calories. But if you have, if you're a higher body fat percentage and you multiply it by 10, that's fine. So you're 200 pounds, you multiply it by 10, that's 2,000. I guarantee if you start with 2,000 calories every day, okay. guarantee you'll lose fat. Guaranteed. So just for anybody else, start if you're if you're a higher body fat percentage, you can use a lower number. Start with 10. Multiply your body weight by 10. If you are a higher body fat percent or a lower body fat percentage, go with 12 because you start going lower like 10 that can be a little bit too steep of a calorie deficit. So Maurizio, I ch I challenge you this, Maurizio. I challenge you. And when we get out of the car, before we get out, I'm gonna give you my phone number. Okay. And I'm gonna, All right. I'm gonna have you text me every day. And I'm I, gonna, you know what? I'm gonna give you the answer in my YouTube channel called Invertidos. Oh, Invertidos? <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Are, yeah. Is that yeah. A channel? Yeah, it's a gay couple. Me and my husband, we did a, uh, we're from Brazil, and we, we have a channel. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I didn't even know that. What's your husband's name? Mateus. Mateus. He's a model and all that. He's already skinny. <laughs> it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Got, okay, so all right, so I'm gonna link the everybody to your YouTube channel as well. Yeah, and I'll give you the answer that you show up. Well, it's a challenge. Well, okay, so here's the challenge. I got that. I got Do you? That. I'm gonna offer you a challenge, and if you accept, this could be a really cool YouTube collaboration and success story. 30 days. All right. 30 days straight. Deal. No questions. <laughs> 2,000 calories, calories. Every, including the weekends. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'll do my weekend. best. <laughs> you, if you can do that for 30 days, man, I guarantee you're going to see really significant progress. There you go. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's do it. I'll awesome. Do it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. What's the YouTube channel again? Invertidos. Invertidos. I hope I said that right. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.